Welcome to the Portable Classroom. This is the grammar exercise for the basic four tenses, which are the present simple tense, the past simple tense, the future simple tense, and the present continuous tense. So without further ado, let's begin. A say something. I say, where you go last night? Find the time marker. The time marker is right over here. So when you see that, you know you have to use the past tense. And this is a question. So you have to look for the action verb in the sentence. The action verb is here. When there is an action verb in the sentence, you know you, that you have to use a helping verb. What is the helping verb that you use in the past tense? Did. So when you have this helping verb, you know that you have to use a base verb after that. Because we usually, except for the present perfect tense, uh, use, a base form, use the base form of a verb after a helping verb. So this is where did you go last night, and I to your house, and you there. Of course, everything happened last night. So I went to your house, the past tense of go is went, and you negative beaver. Which past tense beaver do we use with the pronoun you? It's were. So were and not together will be weren't, and you weren't there. And then B say, I to the Rahul Street Night Market with my cousin. It happened last night. So past and still, the past tense of go is went. So I went to the Rahul Street Night Market with my cousin. She just went to Taiwan from America. Again, in the past. So the past tense of come, if you take a look at the explanations that I gave you, it's came. So come, came. Come, came. Okay, she just came back. And I say, really, you a great time, a good time. So talking about what happened last night, past tense still have an action verb. Therefore, you need to use a helping verb. The helping verb is did. So did you, this you means you and your cousin have, because after helping verb, we have to use a base verb. As a matter of fact, what's as a matter of fact? some like for real truthfully be frank as a matter of fact in fact we did yes we had a good time that's what the person is trying to say first we what again it happened last night first we past tense of have is had so we had some stinky tofu remember stinky tofu for dinner remember to use fur for dinner and then we what some mango shaved eye remember mango shaved eyes Again, happened yesterday. Past tense of have is had. Mango shaved eyes. She really enjoyed them. This she is the person's cousin. She liked the food so much that she wanted to come there again. So, and you say, wow. So, you there again tomorrow? Here. Tomorrow. Future tense. This will be either will you go there again tomorrow or to be more certain are you going to go there again tomorrow both are okay okay but since you get this piece of information from uh, b a got this information this piece of information from b it's okay to say are you going to go because you know that the person just say she wanted to go there again so it's okay to say, are you going to go there again tomorrow? And B says, yes, we are. Actually, if you take a look at the response, the person say, yes, we are. So you do have to use, are you going to go? Rather than using, will go. Because the person says, yes, we are. Unless the person says, yes, we will. Then you use this. But since it's not, you will. It's, are you going to go? Okay, so that's the first part. Let's move on to the second part. Now, this is the second part. Let's begin. So, same usually uh, the MRT to work. Find the time marker. It is here, usually. When you see this, you know you have to use the present simple tense. We use the present simple tense to talk about either habits or facts. And this is habit. Okay, it's a habit of Sam's. So Sam usually takes, why do we need this S? Because the person is Sam. The MRT to work, so his office somewhere 
uh, near the Sanyase Memorial Hall. Remember the Sanyase Memorial Hall. So this is a tr this is a fact actually. So his office Beaver present simple tense is somewhere near the Sanyase Memorial Hall. So every morning, every morning again time marker present simple tense. He what the red line to the Taipei Main Station. He takes. If you have been on the been on the MRT station, you know there are many different lines. Red line being one. There's another one, the blue line, yellow line, and other lines too. So he would take he takes the red line to the Taipei Main Station and then transferred. Transfer means zhuan che to the blue line. And then he off at Sanyase Memorial Hall. It's also a fact or a habit of his. So he present simple tense gets off at the Sanyase Memorial Hall station. But today, usually we use today with the past tense. Think about that. You go home and you tell your mother what happened today. You told her the things that happened maybe in the morning, in the afternoon, anyway, in the past. So remember when you see today is typically you typically you have to use the past tense. So but today he what the MRT. Again, this is an action verb. We need to put not in a sentence, therefore we need a helping verb. Helping verb in the past tense is did. So did and not together, didn't. Base verb take. Didn't take the MRT. He got up late, passed, because in the morning, not morning anymore. So he got up late and he left his easy car. What's the easy car? Yo yo ka. Okay, home. And he no choice but to take the taxi to work. Happened in the past. Past tense of have is had. All right. So this is the end of this video. See you next time. Thank you.